So a question I've been getting a lot recently is when you're at basic training, right? There's gonna be a lot of arguments, there's gonna be a lot of things like that. And a lot of people are under the impression that one of the ways that you can solve these arguments when you're in the military is by doing fights, right? So having a fight, duking it out between two people and really whoever wins is, is the victor, they're right or whatever, uh, and that that is an okay thing to do in the military. So is that actually a thing that happens? Is that okay? What's, what's going on here? So I'm gonna talk about basically the basic training, you know, scenario that we're talking about here where people are asking about at basic training because you're in a high stress environment when you're at basic training. So, you know, how are you gonna solve these arguments? Because when you're there, you know, for me, I went to Fort Benning, so it was all males, right? So a lot of males, a lot of testosterone, a lot of decisions being made, a lot of people getting in trouble, and there's a lot of clashing, right? So a lot of alpha males go to basic training, a lot of alpha males join the military. And so there's this period at the beginning of your military career when you're not really used to basically listening to somebody else who you don't think is better than you, right? So it happens sometimes in the military, somebody's in charge of you and you think either you're smarter than them, better than them, more physically in shape than them, you know more about the subject matter than them, you have a better plan than them. And a lot of times, especially at the beginning, especially at basic training, those you know opinions, those difference of opinions on something that you should be doing will cause a clash sometimes a fight, sometimes an argument. So how do you really solve these things? Are there actual fights that happen at basic training? So I wanna talk about that a little bit. So first off, no, it is not okay to actually get into a physical altercation, uh, a fist fight, anything like that to really solve an argument. If you're upset with somebody, you're gonna have to figure out some other way to deal with it. Besides fighting, it does happen sometimes, and if you do get into a fight, if something like that, ha that happens, you're probably gonna get like an Article 15, uh, which is basically you losing some pay, you might lose some rank, you might end up working, being active duty for like, you know, a week or two weeks without getting paid for that period of time. There's different levels of offenses for the Article 15, but that's probably what's going to happen. But I'm not saying that you get an Article 15 every single time you get into a fight, right? Because it kind of, it does happen in that basic training, there was several events, not regular, it's not like it was a regular event, but there were several events in my platoon at basic training where there were kind of some scuffles. There was uh, a, a few fights. Even me, myself, shoved somebody up against the wall because of something, and that was probably about to be a fight before they pulled us apart, right? So there's, there's a lot of stress that goes on at basic training. And you know, how do you solve these issues? And I wanted to talk about really how that process is going to go at basic training because it's going to be something that's probably going to happen for you, right? You're probably, you're gonna to get to basic training, you might see some fights, you might see some really heated arguments because of something going on because of that high stress environment. And the reason that this happens is what I said before, is a lot of alpha males, a lot of you know leaders like to, they go to basic training, they join the military, then whenever you first get to basic training, you're not used to the rank structure. You're not used to, like I said, somebody telling you what to do. And it really happens with your, your small leaders at base training because you're gonna be assigned a platoon leader or a, a PG platoon guide, an assistant platoon guide, uh, squad leaders, maybe possibly team leaders. So you're gonna have these different leadership positions when you're at basic training. And there'll be people who are in those leadership positions that are great leaders that you know make some good decisions, sometimes some bad decisions. And then you'll have people who aren't in leadership positions, right? So they really don't have much of a say on what's going on because the platoon leader or the platoon guide, the person who is in charge of the platoon, which was me in my case at basic training, you're the one, I was the one making the, the end all be all decision. And when you get picked or you get named the platoon leader at basic training, the drill sergeants will tell everybody that whatever you say, that they should take that as if a drill sergeant is telling them to do something. So if I were to tell somebody to do something because I was the platoon leader, then they like pretty much had to listen to what I was doing. And sometimes there would be some arguments. Sometimes there would be some people you know, pushing back on me. And that was a learning experience that I had to go through of really not even asking people, telling people, uh, kind of building up my leadership skills to get people to actually do things that you that you don't really wanna do, that they don't really wanna do. So that's something difficult that happens. And through that whole process, people are going to be getting into arguments. And uh, at the beginning of basic training, it's definitely going to be a lot more rough. People are going to be possibly yelling back and forth at each other because what happens is you make a decision, something happens, and you, your whole platoon gets smoked for it. So let's say I make a bad decision, I tell everybody to bring the wrong equipment or, or something wrong, 
and then the entire platoon gets smoked off of what one person said, that causes a lot of tension between people. And at the beginning, that's, that's gonna happen. And later on, as you go throughout basic training, people start to understand that there is a chain of command that you have to you have to follow that chain of command, right? So if you're not in a leadership position, you can talk to your team leader. Then your team leader can talk to your squad leader. Then your squad leader can talk to the platoon leader. And that's kind of how things are going to work. And people learn to understand and respect the rank structure, at least some people do. Um, I know whenever I was a platoon leader, pretty much like I've said a whole bunch of times, I was basically the platoon leader the entire time at basic training. And the entire time there was, you know, I remember I can vividly remember there was a couple people who just loved to disagree with absolutely everything I said. Every every idea that I wanted to do, every just every freaking thing. Uh, there was these couple of people that just hated on it, that just, you know, didn't like me being the leader, even though, you know, I was obviously, I wasn't obviously the greatest leader of all time, but it's kind of rare to make it the entire time of basic training, basically without getting fired. So when you're at basic training, how you can solve these arguments is number one, try and actually talk it out like a man, you know, just talk to somebody and be like, hey, I think this is a better idea. I think we should solve it this way. The fighting thing is not really how you should do it. You know, like I said, obviously there were some, some scuffles and stuff, but that never really should result in something major. So you shouldn't be getting into real big fist fights if people are kind of pushing around then that's kind of okay. And when you're at basic training, your drill sergeants, uh, may, they may not even know about it. They may kind of look the other way. Like that's just y'all going through this whole transitioning process or whatever. Uh, so it's not super serious, but there still will be times when people legit get into, into fights, right? And so, and at that point, the punishment will depend on basically your drill sergeants. Uh, either they tell that to the commander and then maybe you'll get an article 15 or whatever. But uh, how you're actually gonna solve your arguments and your disputes and everything is you're just gonna have to utilize your chain of command and actually once you fall into that rhythm and respecting who's in charge of you, a lot of times you may not agree with it and how you solve the argument is you just like, hey, that person's in charge. If we fail, it's totally and completely on them because that's how it works in the military, right? So the leaders, uh, take the fall and then the 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 platoon the people that the leader is leading you know they get the success and everything so if the platoon does something great the great the platoon gets gets praised for it. the platoon it's, it's great if everything goes to crap the drill sergeants will yell at the dang of the platoon leader and every now and then they'll yell at the whole platoon especially if like the whole platoon totally screws up but a lot of times the platoon leader takes the heat for things and I think a lot of people don't actually understand that when you're going through basic training because being the PL at basic is a lot more stressful than being in no leadership position when you're at basic. So that video may have been a little bit all over the place. Uh, I basically just wanted to nail down the question of people asking me, do people solve things by fights? The answer is no, that is not an okay thing. Although people do get into a fight and it may or may not result in some kind of punishment. So that's kind of up in the air, the whole punishment thing, but it is not okay. You know, maybe people think in the past, yeah, people just fought, you know, that was okay. It's not okay anymore. So I wanted to make a video on that and then add in my few two cents on the whole argument thing. So I hope that was okay for you guys. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did enjoy this video, hit that like button. That would be awesome. If you want to stick around some more of my videos, hit the subscribe button. That would be even better if you guys are not following me on Instagram, Snapchat. These social media links are right here. I hope you guys have an amazing day and I will see you later. I do want to add here, some of you might ask this question, but I thought about it after I turned off the camera. Some people want to know, like, can you bring out wrestling mats and kind of wrestle it out? Because you're at base training, you're going to learn some Brazilian Jiu Jitsu stuff. And in some cases, that might actually happen. My platoon didn't get to do that. Some of the other platoons in my company did get to do that. So one of the ways that you can kind of fight this out in a way and actually being okay is basically wrestling it out so wrestling obviously it shouldn't get out of hand i know some of you guys might be asking that be like hey can we get out the wrestling mats and you know do some uh, brazilian jiu-jitsu you know see who wins and go through all that in some cases you might be able to it's kind of like a hit or miss kind of thing so that i just wanted to add that here at the end of the video and if you saw this, leave a comment down below that you made it to the end of this video or something related to the end of the video. And obviously, that's just freaking awesome. You guys are amazing. I hope you have an amazing day, and I will see you later. Drop.